Hey guys, I'm here at the Occupy Timmy's protest uh, in Blenheim. They're having uh, quite a good turnout. There's a bunch of people that brought out face paints and things to uh, paint rainbows on everybody. And there's all a big media response. Uh, we've got a few police officers here who are overseeing the event, doing a good job, taking care of everything, making sure everybody's safe. Uh, so it looks like it turned out to be a real positive event, guys. And that we felt is really indicative of what kind of pressure the gay community must be under, whether they want to say it outright or not. Because they've been quoted as saying in the paper, like, they've done a lot of work to build bridges in this community, and they're afraid this kind of action will destroy those bridges. So who would, who could possibly think it's Detroit destroying bridges, a pos positive community event that says, you know, everyone's welcome here, regardless of the he said, she said, or what might or might not have happened, people perceived they were discriminated against. And we're here to say, well, that's the way you felt, and the truth will come out in the Human Rights Tribunal if they take it that far. Other words, that's the way they felt leaving our community. We, you know, community justice activists, don't want people to leave our community feeling that way. And I wanted to add also, I, I, you know, despite the fact this was originally a protest about discrimination, discriminatory practices by Tim Hortons at this location, unfortunately the local press in this area has turned it more into an attack against the preacher who originally launched that complaint. And the community. And as the 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 local uh, media well, keeps interjecting this interview. You're, the, you're a journalist. Yeah, yeah you wrote an article. All right, when they ask you a question, you can wait your turn. Well, that's all right. I'm now, as I was... Tracy? Together we are all Your voice is the only one that's allowed to speak. You, you're the you only opinion. Speak? Would anybody else, anybody else who's not going to feel homophobic? Anybody supportive of this couple? I'm trying. I would like to speak. Let me just, let me just ask. Okay. We have someone who wants to speak. your affiliation? Um, I support them completely. Like, I think... I wrote a call. I think that pretty much I second exactly what he said. Even if they were kids, even if they were making out, even if they were, that's okay. They can protest their release or whatever, but the man, the reverend or the minister, he can't come out here and do a prayer group. Like, that's showing his beliefs, so why can't the girls show their beliefs? No matter if they were kissing, no matter even if they hugged, anything, they should be able to show their beliefs. It's a free world. Yeah. 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 And we're here to keep it free today. Yeah. 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 Pride Committee, and I'm here to support these women because no one has the right to come and discriminate against them, no matter what. Absolutely. If they are holding hands and having a kiss, straight people do it all the time, and there's no reverend or manager that would come out and ask them to leave. So it's legal to marry in Canada, and that's only one issue. So you have no right, no lawful right to discriminate against this couple, and that's why I'm here because I support them and all LGBT people, and I think that I support equality as a whole, Excellent. and as we all should. Yeah. We want to be treated right. the same way as everyone else is, so does everybody, yeah. not just gay people. But nobody's here for the CK Pride because they do not support this, so I thought I'd bring it up. Yeah, the CK Pride officially do not support this as an organization. Again, the climate of homophobia and fear that exists in this community makes it difficult for them to come out and speak out in events like this. And they not, actually and speak out targeted. a fair bit. They speak out a fair bit in our own town of Chatham. And most gays and lesbians in the community find them to be ineffective in addressing issues of homophobia like this one. They did not help the girls. The girls came to us for the help because CK Pride 
did not show any support for them. And uh, again, uh, because of the, the rampant homophobia that many people experience in this community, groups like CK Pride are under undue pressure not to participate in these events. The simple fact that they we are not these under events, pressure to not participate in these events, they choose not to. Yes, There's they choose not to because of editorial because comments like yours. No, this is actually their statement. I understand that. If you look at that uh, Chatham Kent this week in the editorial, and the editorial... She was talking to you, I'm this week, Chatham Kent this week, she'd written a it's scathing Chatham indictment. Chatham this week had written a scathing indictment of both myself and Tracy for organizing this protest. And as I've made uh, many public statements to that effect, it's a good thing that we did organize this protest because if we hadn't, most likely CK Pride would have been the focus of that article. Thank you. Why are you telling them what Why wouldn't I tell them? Because well, are you an activist? Or, or no, I'm, I'm a media representative. I'm here writing a few articles. Dissing the people who... Like, she wrote there this article all talking about how terrible. Talking so, about. Well, here's a whole bunch of Blenheim people right here. These are people okay. from Blenheim. Relax, okay. relax, relax. Okay. And I know a lot of others have been scared away. By whom? By you. By the kind of rhetoric no, by that you guys are espousing. And attack me. It's because of the way you are treating people. Not because they are standing up in this community. It's because of your inflammatory content. My comment has not kept a single member of CK Pride away from this day. No, your comment has openly demonized both myself and my wife using a biblical headline about false prophets, which just goes to show the sort of rhetoric that takes place.